China's stealth UAV squadron appears along China-India border, is the moment to change the rules of engagement here. At the Shigats Air Base in Tibet, three Attack 11 stealth unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, stand silently on the plateau airport at an altitude of 3,800 meters. Their presence was captured by Western commercial satellites passing overhead, instantly drawing widespread attention from international military observers. The GJ-11, Lygian, Sword, Stealth UAV's first appearance in combat formation along the China-India border front line signifies China's transition from experimental testing to operational deployment of stealth drones. According to Defense News and Wartsoni websites citing recent satellite imagery, multiple GJ-11 stealth combat drones began operational deployment at Shigats Air Base between August and September 2025. This makes the GJ-11 the world's first operational high-speed stealth attack drone with a flying wing configuration boasting not only exceptional stealth capabilities, but also formidable strike power. The Shigats Air Base holds strategic importance. Located on the southwestern edge of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, it lies just 145 kilometers from India's Sikkim state, serving as a crucial air hub for the PLA along China's southwestern border. Satellite imagery reveals three GX-11 drones parked at the base, two in standard gray camouflage and one coated in reddish-brown protective paint. Their presence at Shigats indicates that the GX-11 is undergoing not merely basic testing, but operational trials approaching near full combat readiness. The GX-11's tailless flying wing configuration effectively minimizes radar signature. Its air intakes are positioned at the nose in an S-shaped curve, while the engine nozzles are placed on the upper fuselage with stealth treatment, maximizing suppression of infrared signatures for enhanced undetectability. Unlike current reconnaissance strike drones, that predominantly use external weapon pylons, the G-11, like modern stealth fighters, employs internal belly weapon bays to carry strike munitions, ensuring its inherent stealth capabilities remain intact. This aircraft features two internal weapon bays capable of carrying multiple glide-guided bombs, enabling diverse combat missions such as air superiority strikes and air defense suppression. The J-11B's airframe extensively utilizes composite materials, reducing both weight and radar signature. Its wing leading and trailing edges likely incorporate radar transparent materials, with onboard antennas integrated within the airframe to further enhance stealth performance. The J-11B's design embodies versatile operational concepts. It can operate solo as a stealth bomber, or coordinate with manned stealth fighters like the J-20S, even functioning as a loyal wingman to form a stealth attack, wolf pack, for air defense suppression. The G-11 leverages its extreme stealth to deliver precision strikes against deep penetration targets from beyond enemy defenses, rapidly neutralizing air defense batteries and radar nodes. This man-machine coordination not only enhances the survivability of manned fighters, but also significantly boosts overall firepower output. U.S. media reports indicate the GJ-11's internal weapons bay can carry two tons of munitions, including four to six BL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles. It can also deploy CJ-10 cruise missiles for deep strikes or anti-radiation missiles to suppress enemy radar systems. Furthermore, its spacious fuselage may integrate electronic warfare pods to execute soft kill missions, crippling enemy command and control links. With an operational radius of 1,500 kilometers, the J-11B launched from Shigats Air Base can cover multiple critical military targets in northern India, including forward airbases like Tezpur and Chabua, and even threaten Indian Brahma's missile sites deployed along the Eastern Front. When armed with cruise missiles, its strike range extends further into India's interior. The deployment of the GJ-11 poses a far greater challenge to India than conventional fighter jets. The Indian military severely lacks the capability to detect stealth drones. In wartime, if GJ-11S and J-20S form a drone wingman, formation, a single J-20 stealth fighter, could command multiple GJ-11S, resulting in an exponential leap in combat capability. The J-20, operating as the command and control hub in relatively secure airspace, directs multiple J-11 attack aircraft to undertake high-risk missions. This significantly enhances the success rate of penetrating India's air defense systems and delivering precision strikes against high-value targets deep within enemy territory. Equipped with long-range air-to-air missiles, and operating under fighter command. It could not only launch preemptive beyond visual range strikes against Indian aircraft, but also threaten India's most critical air command nodes, severely crippling the Indian military's overall system-level combat capabilities. Facing escalating aerial pressure along its borders, India has also taken action. Following intense aerial combat between India and Pakistan in May 2025, 
the Indian government approved emergency procurement of new air defense and counterterrorism equipment. India's Ministry of Defense signed 13 contracts in one go, totaling 19.82 billion rupees, with the most significant being the acquisition of an integrated UAV detection and interception system and low-altitude lightweight radars. India is also accelerating its indigenous stealth UAV program. Though experts estimate these projects will require at least five to eight years to achieve initial operational capability. In contrast, China's GJ-11 has already attained combat readiness, and this time gap places India at a disadvantage in border aerial standoffs. The operational deployment of the GJ-11 signifies that China has widened the gap with the US and Europe in the field of flying wing unmanned combat aerial vehicles. In contrast, despite massive investments in projects like the X-47B, the US has yet to deploy any such systems operationally due to technical challenges. Currently, America's sole stealth unmanned asset is the MQ-25 Stingray carrier-based aerial refueling drone, which remains a support platform without combat capabilities. By contrast, China has pioneered the entire cycle of R&D, testing, and deployment, enabling it to overtake the US in the field of unmanned systems. The Attack 11 is merely one representative of China's flying wing drone family. Since 2025 alone, at least three previously unseen flying wing configurations have appeared at test bases in western China. These drones are progressively moving from testing grounds to frontline border regions, signifying that China's flying wing drone technology has formally transitioned from experimentation to a new era of operational deployment. As more similar platforms enter service, China's situational awareness and precision strike capabilities along its southwestern border will undergo a qualitative leap. The timing of the JG-11's deployment is noteworthy. It coincides with India's ongoing military buildup along the border. Beyond purchasing additional Rafale fighters from France, India is accelerating the deployment of its indigenous Tejas Mk-1 fighters to forward bases. However, these third and a half generation fighters face significant challenges in detecting and engaging stealth drones. The GZ-11 stealth characteristics drastically reduce the detection range of conventional airborne radars, often rendering countermeasures ineffective by the time it is spotted. Conceptually, the GZ-11 signifies a profound shift in the PLA's operational doctrine. It is not merely new hardware, but embodies the emerging, unman-led, manned-assisted, combat paradigm. In future conflicts, Drones may spearhead operations by breaching enemy air defense networks, while manned aircraft provide rear command and control, a model that drastically reduces personnel casualties. For China's aviation industry, the successful deployment of the GJ-11 demonstrates mastery over critical technologies including flying wing aerodynamics, flight control systems, and stealth materials. This technological foundation is now fueling the development of more advanced UAV variants, including larger stealth unmanned bombers and smaller stealth reconnaissance drones, forming a comprehensive family of stealth unmanned aircraft. Globally, the US X-47B program has long been discontinued. Russia's Hunter UAV remains in testing phases, while China's GJ-11 has achieved full-scale deployment along the frontiers where it is most needed. In this stealth drone race, China has secured the initiative. As more GJ-11 squadrons are formed, and their coordinated tactics with the J-20 fighter jet mature, the Chinese Air Force is reshaping the future of aerial warfare. The impact of this transformation will extend far beyond the Himalayas, rippling across the entire Indo-Pacific region.